the gate. Ready to run. And they're off. And coming out with a nice early break on them, Starship Jubilee. Starship Jubilee quickly headed by New Money Honey, who darts clear with on the inside, Daring Duchess going to second. A length and a half to two and a half now in flexibility is up on the outside, a clear third as these two put on some pace. As Daring Duchess up on the inside has gone a neck clear of New Money Honey. They got away by almost three and a half to four lengths over in flexibility, a length away on the inside, making a little bit of ground is Bletchley. In behind them, Starship Jubilee began in front, has got to second last, now last behind Halle Bell. Daring Duchess in front, six eighths, six furlongs to run by three quarters, New Money Honey, three and a half in flexibility, Bletchley, Halle Bell, and last of all is Starship Jubilee. The top two go on nicely, Daring Duchess at the five eighths, and Rafael Hernandez in front, three quarters, New Money Honey, two lengths away in third, gaining ground, Bletchley on the inside and in flexibility, and only a length and a half to Halle Bell, and last of all is Starship Jubilee. As they head down inside the final half mile, New Money Honey tightens the screws on Daring Duchess. A length and a half in flexibility is called on and is coming after them both. One away on the inside, Bletchley ridden along and completely graining ground are both Halle Bell and Starship Jubilee and they join the mix well. They turn and New Money Honey in front of inflexibility, Starship Jubilee and Halle Bell down the outside. As they come down the stretch and the Canadian stakes out in front, New Money Honey in flexibility, Starship Jubilee running a monster race on the outside. And and Starship Jubilee has gone to the front with New Money Honey on the inside battling on. And it's Starship Jubilee racing away. Luis Contreras and Starship Jubilee have torn on to win. A big winner of the Canadian Stakes. Starship Jubilee by three and a half. New Money Honey and Flexibility and Bletchley. 142.91. Winner of this year's Canadian Stakes, Starship Jubilee. And she is a bay mare, five years of age, who's by Indy Wind from Perfectly Wild and was bred by William Surin in Florida. And Kevin Attard is the winning trainer for Solly Meta and partner. And the winning rider, Luis Contreras. Starship Jubilee has now won 11 times from 23 lifetime start. Trophy presentation of the Canadian Stakes, and it is a delight to welcome with his wife, Director of Japan Racing Association. We welcome Mr. and Mrs. Masayoshi Yoshida, and they make the award presentation to Connections of Starship Jubilee. A little bit of a long shot there in the Canadian, the winner number six, Starship Jubilee, ridden perfectly today by Luis Contreras for Sully Meta and trainer Kevin Attard. And Luis, we'll start with you. I mean, going into this race, you hope you have a chance, but boy, was she good today. Yeah, she was really good. And you, uh, Kevin told me in the paddock, you have to get him, get him to relax. That's, his, that's the best way she can, she can finish the race. And she was right. He was right. Yeah, he was right for sure uh, and relaxed. You found yourself a nice little spot just free of trouble and she looked to really just come come to you and just uh, sit there and wait waited for you. Yeah, I was waiting. I got a perfect trip. I was she she helped me a lot. She I, when I got, when I got her to relax, she was nice and calm early and once I hit the trees, I I saw my room and I went through and she gave me everything from there and I'm really lucky I got this goal. Well, well, you're a Canadian now, and you just won the Canadian, so congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Honorary okay. Canadian, and uh, we'll go to Sully now. And this, what a big thrill for you. I know you weren't surprised. You love this horse. I love this horse today, along with Kevin. We thought we had a great shot. We only had to worry about Chad Brown's five horse. Yeah. I didn't like the three at all. Okay. <laughs> well, that was some good handicapping. Oh, no, it's just that we just like this horse. We had pointed her towards this, and we had no other place to go except run here. All right. Because she loves turf. 
and yeah. Kevin did a great job. He did do a good job, and we'll talk to Kevin now. Hard Congratulations. Kevin yeah, he's a hard worker. He's, awesome. he's the first one that will tell you that. And, and Kevin, you know, you take a chance in a race like this, and you hope she comes up with her big game, and she did. Yeah, you know, I made a few mistakes with her early this year. We, we kind of sent her home for a break, and uh, she just kind of didn't swing back after that little vacation. And uh, we needed a confidence builder in her, and uh, we found one for her, and, and she, she was pretty authoritative that day. And she came into this race, and, and she worked lights out last week. And I just had a good feeling that if, uh, if we had a good trip, uh, she'd, she'd come running down the lane. I know you're overwhelmed. You can barely put words together. Now, you're pretty calm and cool about this. That was amazing. Yeah, it's, it's easy to train good horses. <laughs> <laughs> well, a good training job. Congratulations Thank to you, Sully. Congratulations Thank to you. Kevin. Luis Contreras and the star of the show, Starship Jubilee in the Canadian.